How do you transition your social media that already has your family and friends on it to a business platform beyond just the business posts? Okay. What I did was I let every <clears throat> what I did was I let everybody know, listen, it's a rap. This is what I do, but it was already kind of prevalent. It was already kind of prevalent. It was already kind of obvious because that's who I am and what I do. So for you, it would be a thing of letting them know and putting them on 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 aware. Or you can do what Miss Remedy said also, and you can invite them to your business page. Do you have a business page as well? No, not yet. Oh, you definitely need a business page. You definitely need a business page. And that's your first line of separate. That's your first um, separation point or your line of demarcation. If you're going to be the, the type of entrepreneur who keeps family, family and business, business, then you need a business page. If not, you're going to be in conflict when you try to do business from your personal page and all of your friends are like, oh, but this is what's going to happen too, right? If you try to sell your friends and your family, you're going to be like, oh, you're always trying to sell me something. Why are you always trying to sell now? You understand? So everybody doesn't understand this entrepreneur life and it's okay. But I kind of leave employees in an employee state. Like I leave employees with employees and I try to keep entrepreneurs with entrepreneurs so that the, because the never the twain shall never meet. So if they don't understand, they won't understand. Does that make sense? Been there, done that. Got a t-shirt for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you already know. It's good. Listen, there's going to be hurt feelings. Get ready for that. 